step isn't really optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway because I like the look of how the shadows apply and also how beautiful of the shape is. I'm gonna apply tape, and tape is gonna kind of help you as a guide for the eyeshadows if you want more of that sharp edge, fresh, clean type of look. I kind of really been liking this look lately, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna apply Black Radiance Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand. I'm gonna place it to the lid where our eyeshadows will stay last all day. You guys know a primer does its job, and it just sticks very, very well. So I'm just gonna blend it, and then I'm gonna take the LA Colors Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencils. These are dupes for the NYX ones. I really love these. And then I'm going to make sure that I apply it to the eyes and also make sure that I have to blend it out, make sure the eyeshadows don't crease. But so I'm gonna take this bronzer from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna apply that dark shade and I'm gonna apply it as our translucent color for this look. This look I'm going for a glowy bronze summer look and try not to have all colors matte because that's gonna take away from the look. I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to kind of clean up the bronzer a little bit with the brown and add a little bit more definition to the eyes. So while I'm adding more definition to the eyes, I am going to make sure that I follow the shape of the eye and also make sure I use the tape as a guideline. You don't have to really use tape, but I feel like I feel a lot more comfortable with using tape. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to blend, blend, blend. Going in with the gold from the BH Cosmetics palette and this is from their Malibu collection. I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it to the lid. I really like this gold because it's not really a bold gold, it's just a nice neutral type of gold. Then after I apply the gold, I'm going to make sure that the gold stay where it needs to be and then I'm going to take Crave and you guys know I love deepen up with the crease with a darker shade. I feel like it just completes the look and then I'm going to take Walk of Shame and I'm going to apply it as my brow bone highlight. Yes, Walk of Shame to get my brow bone highlight and after that I am going to take Crave. There we go. I was like, where is Crave? And I'm going to apply it to my outer V. After I apply it to my outer V, I'm going to make sure I clean it up with a MAC 212 brush. I really love this brush. Next, after I apply those beautiful shadows, I want to apply these three NYX eyeliner pencils. I'm going to take silver, gold, and white, and I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line. I really, really like this look because it's like an ombre look, but it's definitely a nice, gorgeous look, especially with these colors. It's so unique. Once I apply those beautiful colors to the uh, lower lash line, I'm so sorry that I was not in the frame. I'm going to take Ulta's lipstick, actually Elf's lipstick, but I can't tell today, and new. And on top, I am going to take an Ulta lipstick, and it is in the shade Plum Crazy. And it's going to give that natural berry lip look. After that, I am going to apply... My favorite blush from YH Bajay is number four, and I'm gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And after I apply it to the apples of my cheeks, I'm gonna apply it to the bridge of the nose and also to the chin. And this is just gonna give my face a little bit more color, but a more natural color. And I really love doing that. This look is one of my favorite everyday go-to looks for summer. And I've been really, really liking this look, especially if I just wanna go out the day and you know, just rock a gorgeous, nice, summery, bronzy look. You really don't have to use the products that I use in this video. You can go out and about and get your own products or whatever products that you already have. You can go ahead and use it as well. 
I hope all of you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thumbs up for more tutorials or comment below what the next video should be and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.